Hello. Sango here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you the best artifact main stats for Kokomi. I've been playing this character since her first release. She is definitely one of my favorites. And as a Kokomi main, I want to maximize her performance, both damage and healing. So I decided to find out, what is the optimal combination of artifact main stats for her. For that, I tested 13 different builds on Kokomi, going through multiple permutations of main stats. The stats I chose are HP, Hydro Damage Bonus, Attack, and Healing Bonus. All tests were made with the 4-piece Ocean Hued Clam, which is surely the best 4-piece set for her. At the end of these tests, I added a bonus clip of Kokomi equipping a 4-piece Heart of Depth, with the Skyward Atlas at level 90, to see what she could do with an entirely offensive build. My Kokomi is at level 90, wielding the Everlasting Moon Glow, at level 90, and at Refinement level 2. She is at Constellation 0, and her talents are at level 10. Keep in mind, that these are the best artifacts I could test for my Kokomi. Although the numbers may vary from player to player, the conclusions we find should apply to everyone. Before we begin, let me quickly summarize Kokomi's kit and abilities, and how they scale with each stat. Her normal attacks deal Hydro damage, based on her attack, damage bonus, and critical stats, the same as any other character. Her elemental skill summons a water jellyfish, Baki Karage, which lasts for 12 seconds. Every 2 seconds, the skill heals every active character based on Kokomi's max HP, and deals Hydro damage, based on her attack. Her passive talent, Flawless Strategy, grants her an extra 25% healing bonus, at the cost of 100% of her crit rate, which results in a negative 95% crit rate for Kokomi. Her elemental burst is what turns her into a burst DPS. At the cost of 70 energy, Kokomi activates her burst, dealing hydro damage to her surrounding area. For 10 seconds, Kokomi's normal and charged attacks, as well as the jellyfish, gain a damage bonus based on her max HP. After raising Kokomi past level 60, she gains an extra damage bonus, based on 15% of her healing bonus. Also, every time she hits an opponent, she heals all party members a percentage of her max HP. Lastly, during her burst, she has increased resistance to interruption, and can walk on water. Finally, let's begin. For these tests, Kokomi will be facing solo the Pyro Regisveen. I have divided these clips, into four groups of three. In the first group, all builds have the same HP Sans and HP Goblet, with three different circlets, HP, Healing Bonus and Attack. In the second group, all builds have the same HP Sans and Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, with three different circlets, HP, Healing Bonus and Attack. In the third group, all builds have the same HP Sans and Attack Goblet, with three different circlets, HP, Healing Bonus and Attack. In the fourth group, we have Attack Sans, Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, and Healing Bonus Circlet. Attack Sans, Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet and Attack Circlet. And Attack Sans, Attack Goblet and Healing Bonus Circlet. Lastly, we have two fully offensive builds. On left a 4-piece Ocean Hued Clam set, with full attack artifacts, and on the right, a 4-piece Heart of Depth with Attack Sands, Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, and Attack Circlet, wielding the Skyward Atlas at level 90 and Refinement 1. <sighs> now let's see how her healing performs. Kokomi's healing scales from her max HP, as most healers, and is multiplied by her healing bonus. Therefore, the builds that focus more heavily on HP or healing bonus should perform better on this test. As we can see, the best healing build is with double HP for Sans and Goblet, and a healing bonus circlet, healing an astounding 8.1 thousand every tick, to a total of almost 57 thousand HP. Now let's check the damage from the bubble. In case you're not familiar, the 4-piece Ocean Hued Clam set, creates a bubble called the Sea Dyed Foam, 
which accumulates the amount of HP healed during 3 seconds, and explodes, dealing 90% of that accumulated healing as physical damage. Naturally, the builds that perform better at healing, should also deal the most damage from the bubble. The build that maximizes the bubble damage, is, therefore, the same build that maximizes Kokomi's healing. Double HP for Sans and Goblet, and healing bonus for the circlet. <sighs> Here are the results. As we can see, the top three builds, which deal the most damage overall, are builds, E, D and J. These builds outperform every other combination of artifacts, whether we consider the damage from the bubble and the elemental skill or not. The number one, best artifact build, is an HP Sans, Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, and Healing Bonus Circlet. This build tackles every part of Kokomi's kit, maximizing her overall performance as a burst DPS slash support healer. With this build, my Kokomi can deal, at least 8000 damage from each normal attack, and 10,000 from charged attacks, not even considering any buffs. If we take a full HP build as a base for comparison, this combination can deal almost 20% more damage. She can heal 7.3 thousand HP per tick from her skill, which translates to 9.2 thousand damage from each bubble pop. Her elemental skill can also deal a non-negligible amount of damage, 6.1 thousand per tick, which totals 43.2 thousand over the skill's duration. Your next best choice is build D, with an HP Sans, Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet, and HP Circlet. The third choice, build J, with attack, Hydro Damage Bonus, and Healing Bonus, can also perform relatively well, though not optimally. To summarize, with Kokomi, at least one of her artifacts must be either HP or Healing Bonus, there is no escape. The substats for the artifacts are simple, aim for HP, an energy recharge, and avoid crit at all costs. Though attack and elemental mastery could also be viable, she scales much more from health, and she cannot generate many energy particles by herself, which makes energy recharge also very valuable. I hope this guide helps you in some way. I suggest you farm the ocean hued clam domain until you have 4 decent pieces. They don't have to be perfect. Just having the right main stats is good enough. Lastly, please like this video, and subscribe to my channel for more. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.